guess we pin this. Or not. Sorry, I'm busy now. Uh, where are your archives at, boo boo? Spectre's archives, here we go. Violent crimes, victims, all I found archives of the Oh, case of Violet Holmes. There's no document inside at all. <coughs> okay. John, I just recalled that we were living here on Cordona, in a manor, and there was a policeman. Really? What else do you remember? What happened to our mother? Memory was vague, a, a mere flash. We have to find our house. Absolutely. Let's Excuse do it. Excuse me. Oh, there might be a clerk. Never mind. She might. She might be a clerk. May I ask you something? I'd tell you if I knew, but unfortunately, I don't. Oh. Uh, do I need to pin that? I do need to pin that. What the fuck? I just jumped right off. I'm done with the archives for now. Can I help you with anything else? As a matter of fact, you can. The thing is, our chief inspector has vanished, as if we weren't undermanned enough as it is. Wait, what do you mean, vanished? Gone missing on a case. Shady business, but that's besides the point. See that board? Pending cases are posted there for any available officers to investigate. I would take them myself, except that I've been told to work the reception desk, like some clerk. Yes, we're that short-handed. I understand your predicament, but what does any of it have to do with me? I may be available, but I'm certainly not an officer. Oh, don't worry about it. Consider yourself a temporary one-man independent police force. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's just one small, minor, basic formality. You'll need to complete our physical training course. Easy. Well, I'm not one to balk at a spot of exercise. What must I do? Ask the spirit. Sergeant Ermy will show you the ropes. Follow me. Well, well. No, you took my overcoat off. So, you're a newcomer. We must be desperate to ask untrained civilians for help. You're lucky to have a well-trained civilian with a brand new auto pistol in his arsenal. An automatic? A bit of a braggart, aren't you? Are you trying to test me already? That is why you're here, boy. I need to verify your skills before I can allow you to catch criminals. The first targets are in the next room. You know what to do with them. I'll join you in a while to see the results. Okay. Concentrate, Sherry. You need to hit every target to show the sergeant how we do it. Not that hard, honestly. Hooray! Proceed to the next room. Meanwhile, I'll fill out the paperwork. Are you always there? Come on, Sherry. It's just like in childhood. Right, Steady, can't. Sherry. Steady. And my favorite mannequins for attack. Let's strike them ninja style. Aim for where you might take advantage and don't forget the environment. I could do this all day. Please don't, Sherry. We don't have that much time. 
Let's move them. Our enemies might be stronger than us, but we rely on our wits. Shoot off their armor. Hooray! All right, let's move on, Sherry. If you stand here and use your snuff box on them, you can definitely overcome them, Sherry. It's all calculated. Um, what's Bro saying? Look at that helmet of his. You won't be able to get the powder past him. Helpful advice, John. I would never have guessed. Good job, new boy. Well, I'm almost finished with the paperwork. Let's talk about your results. Well, I must say your results aren't as bad as I feared. Perhaps you're not completely hopeless, but true combat is quite different from shooting stationary targets. I'll handle it just as easily. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Now, we'll test you against our men. Your task is to detain them, not to kill them. So don't go shooting anyone in the eye. That goes for in the field as well. Even though you'll be working with the police department, that doesn't mean you have a license to kill. Here. Take these. They are blank rounds. So, are you ready? Always ready. Then let's get cracking. Worried? Not at all. I can hit them all with one shot. Good luck, Sherry. And remember, the surroundings are your playground. I'm coming for you. Against murder. Oh. There. Oh, stop, stop. What do you think your task is to detain? I'm sorry, it was glowing. I shoot what's glowing. Jesus Christ, Cam. Uh. I'm coming. Ah. Don't work this way. This way. I don't understand what you want from me then. I, I shoot him in the one. knee. I'm coming. How am I supposed to fucking overcome him? Don't rush. Look, shoot him in the knee. I couldn't miss the party. No, you killed him. I don't understand what you want from me, game. Stop, stop, stop. What do you think you're doing? Injured the poor fat. Your tongue. I I shot him like and punched him. That wasn't killing. I don't. What do you want me to do? We're gonna, okay. Try to arrest them instead. Disorient your. How do I supposed to disorientate them? I'm coming for you. Uh, Don't work this way. Details, details. I told. I thought you should not to shoot them in the I fucking glowy bits. I thought going. I thought. I don't understand. The hitbox. told me not to shoot the gluey bits. Now you're telling me to shoot the gluey bits. I don't understand what you want from me, game. So, shoot the gluey bits. I'm coming for you. Um, thank you. Oh, 
Won't work this way. I'm fucking done, I'm man. Coming. Take a rest, my friend. No more crime for you until next month. That was nice, dude. Oh, that didn't oh, distract him. Not that easy. Simple. I didn't know he had a mask on. That's it's enough. not visible. You've proved yourself. Congratulations on the okay. arrests. Yeah, I can't believe you did so well with the close combat. I did tell you that I'm well trained. Well, do the same on the street, and you'll be well rewarded for every arrest you make. Here is your certificate. You are now an authorized crime scene consultant. Well, it's now your duty to make this city a safer place. Cordona oh, won't ever forget it. Do it later. But at the same time, it will never remember. I'll tell Stark all the necessary details about your successful certification. Congratulations. Yay. Now you're a certified crime scene consultant. Congratulations. <sighs> Thank you, my friend. Now, shall we head for Stonewood Manor? Yes, Don't please. Know. You have the whole island to investigate. It's all up to you. right here Oh wait, it took off my fucking overcoat. Excuse me, I want my overcoat please. Thank you. Hey Sherry, there's post here. And it seems as if the letter was delivered recently. Sherlock, I hope this letter does not reach you, for it would mean you have committed to your absurdly uh, the past of the past. Oh my god. Fucking Minecraft. After reading that, I am even less eager to return home than before. Let's investigate our manor. That's the Mycroft I know. Predictable. There she is. Our old manor. It's smaller than I remember. 
You were a couple of feet shorter back then, Sherry. Or maybe it's bigger on the inside. Uh, that's your reference. Look at the ash all over the door. I don't recall hearing of a fire. We don't have to stay here. You can afford another night or two at the hotel. Hmm. It's stuck. Oh well, let's just head back. They probably haven't even stripped our room yet. Come on. <sighs> Must be locked. Move aside. Let me have a go. Seems fine to me, Sherry. This barrier. Perhaps it's mental, not physical. Or perhaps the rest of us are simply constrained by reality, John. I wonder if there's a key secreted somewhere in the garden. Take a look around, Sherlock. I'm sure you'll discover something. Oh, not the right way. Uh huh. I did not expect these to still be here. It was enjoyable to practice using real handcuffs to make an arrest. An irreplaceable tool for catching a thief. Hey, that's Wooden Joe! <laughs> he was always the best at playing criminals. And this must be the reason our suspect was apprehended. Wood and glass are very precious. Funny. Wooden Joe reminds me of the trouble we once got in with the police. Do you remember, John? Hmm, somewhat. Maybe we can recall more details. Policeman brought us both home, John. That's why he was here. I'm pretty sure he brought something else with him, too. You remember what it was? I bet it was our reward. No, we were not so lucky. It was a set of lockpicks that we had used to sneak into someone's house. That's why we were arrested. Did someone come out to investigate all the commotion? It was Mycroft. He smoothed things over and convinced the policeman not to press charges. The officer left and never returned. But we had to endure a serious talking to from my brother. My brother was Mycroft happy. wasn't happy about the fact that we were arrested. It felt like he lectured us for hours. Did we give him something afterwards, Sherry? Oh, yes. Yes, now I remember. It was a letter. That's why we snuck into the house. Mycroft asked us to. He wasn't angry we stole, but that we got caught. Oh, that's right. It must have been only a couple of months after we moved to Cordona. Ugh, oh, the good old days. Whoa. How very odd. It appears that memory stood between me and the manor. It, it's as if my mind palace had seeped into the real world. This deserves further investigation. Perhaps there's more to discover inside. As long as there is a comfortable place to put my feet up, I'll be happy. Maybe a chaise long. Aha! In we go. Home sweet home, Sherry. One of the first things I saw when entering this house as a child. It's like deja vu. Home sweet home, Sherry. Mycroft's umbrella, the only outgoing thing in his wardrobe. And I was wondering why it's so empty in here. 
There may be a small chance that some of our property could be found among local traders' wares. It was worth a look, wouldn't you say? Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Hey, this is the luggage we brought from London, isn't it? Another memory incoming, Sherry. Strange. I struggle to recall anything about the day we moved in. The only detail I'm sure of is that it was raining early that morning. Our mother brought a slew of belongings with her. She refused to leave a single thing in London. Mycroft had to spend the whole day dealing with it. There was always a hat on our stand, but I'm sure it did not belong to Mycroft. This trip was a challenge for our mother. I tried to help her. Do you feel it? Is it the air shimmering, or is it my imagination? Your neighbors will be told that Mrs. Holmes is suffering from tuberculosis. It is common to move closer to the sea in such cases. Thank you, Dr. Richter. No, Sherlock, step away from her. Upstairs, go to your room. Lean on me, Mother. Take your time. Actually, I never heard her coughing. I remember now. early in the morning or any day. Okay. Oh, I feel dizzy. It's stuffy in here, isn't it? John, are you alright? I'll be okay in a minute. <clears throat> How about we uh, find our room in the meantime? You know, they're not really hard uh Show off that he's not real. Where? Oh, all right. Yeah, like he was just downstairs. This book, where I kept my collection of coins, it used to be bigger. No, 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 no. We won't let this stand, right, Sherry? I want to find my coins. It's going to be difficult. The sands of time, you know? Some things may have changed, but you're right. We can't let Mycroft win. It's like traveling ten years into the past with a single step. Oddly satisfying. Coal dust from Miner's End, sandy dirt from the old city. We scoured the island top to bottom for these soil samples. The first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. The 
first chemical laboratory I ever made. I almost miss its elegant simplicity. Look at this, John. Remember how desperately I wanted to learn the violin? I never had a proper opportunity. Such a shame. I always hated the rule about being silent in this place. Interesting. What's that over there? A doorknob key? This doorknob has a cross-shaped end. Too intricate to be merely a handle. You know what? That looks like definitely a key. looks like a key. Let's poke around and see if we the can find any The only fiction book on my table. I can still hear my mother reading it to me. So many pleasant evenings were spent here with the Encyclopedia Americana. Magnificent tool made for a spurious purpose, staring into the sky. I've definitely found a better use for it. You mean for spying on people? I cannot believe all my toys are still here. Hey, they were not just yours, they were half mine too. An artifact from Palau carved out of bone and claimed to be 300 years old. My mother proved it was a fake. My very favorite plaything. It was the perfect pirate treasure. Oh, oh, it reminds me of our neighbor. He had the same balloon in his yard, only bigger. Do you remember? Yes, we visited him several times while living here. Oh, these must be the notes of my earliest observations. We wanted to locate a particular dog we'd spotted, and we met it, didn't we? I'll never forget how challenging it was to obtain this simple sketch. One of John's first pictures. I think this was supposed to be Mycroft. He really has improved his skills since then. This brings back memories. We used this old diary to keep track of our adventures. I think it was my father's. John, do you think we can visit some of the places mentioned in the diary for old time's sake? Why not? Nothing like a stroll down memory lane. Note down the places you'd like to visit, and I'll add what I remember of them. Uh-huh. Perfect match. Made of cherry wood, father's favorite. Still has a faint odor of tobacco, one of the few things on this island that smell like home. Uh -huh. My small archive of crime clippings. Maybe I should pick up this habit again. I knew you'd find it in no time. So, Tomes knows he's not real? Okay. I was gonna say, if you're trying to make a big twist that he's not real, do a shit job because he dropped us so many clues. Ugh. Missing records. And we have friends. <sighs> Wasn't that neighbor missing a finger? That does sound vaguely familiar. 
Wasn't his name, uh, Theodore, Theodore Gildon, perhaps? It's the perfect time to investigate. This time I was first to pick beds. This one's mine now. Tuh. Why do you highlight it? Oh. Uh. He used to live in one of the neighboring houses near Greek Bridge. Okay. Bridge gas powered. Nope, oh, hey, it wasn't too hard. Okay, that wretch Goliath would murder us all. Mark my words. Destruction and trampled ground. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess we're doing that one now.